Chapter One Play me. Sometimes I'd drive to the borders of my county and look for the end of the world, and sometimes I'd see it, or I think I do, but maybe what I see is myself, and that's enough to send me scurrying back the other way. I like to think I used to be braver, but maybe I just didn't know any better. When I was young, all I wanted was out. I was pretty sure that the only reason I participated in sports was to do that, to go on those endless bus rides, even if it was just more Wyoming with maybe a little Montana and South Dakota mixed in. Along the way, with a little size, speed, muscle, and brains, I was able to land a spot as one of the top ten teenage offensive linemen in the country. The University of Southern California took note and offered me a scholarship, where we even won a Rose Bowl for the red and gold against Wisconsin, 42-37. to 37. I graduated, lost my deferment in doing so, and found myself wearing the khaki and olive drab for the United States Marine Corps. The Corps taught me a lot of things at college they hadn't, like how to shine my shoes, say sir a lot, and take other people's lives. The biggest thing it did, however, was pin a star to my chest, something that's still there to this day. I am the sheriff, the final letter of the law in Absaroka the least populated county in Wyoming, the least populated state in America. Kind of a period, if you will, in the great sentence of justice. But right now I was retrieving a basketball from dead frozen grass and tossing it back to an 18-year-old phenom. Luckily, I didn't have to do that very often because she didn't miss very often. Not my game. My words clouded the air as I threw the ball, and she caught it with long, nimble, artistic-looking fingers. Chicken shit! She turned and dribbled through her legs, then circled out to the top of the key, where she half-turned and flipped up a three-pointer, all net. Or whatever net was left with the red, white, and blue nylon strands that had been faded by the sun, rain, and incessant wind of the high plains, the unraveled threads like a horsetail swishing at a fly. It was a fitting banner for the northern Cheyenne, a people ravaged by unemployment, alcoholism, drug abuse, domestic violence, inadequate health care, and substandard housing. I passed the ball back. So, you got another note? She turned, dribbled to the baseline corner, and flipped the ball up again. I watched its arc as it slipped through the net, the ball caressing the nylon with a swirling sound, like hope, and then bouncing on the pockmarked asphalt before rolling to a stop near the ragged chain-link fence.